Welcome to Who's Up Next, a video podcast for journal junkies. I'm Sally Bell, your host, and I will be interviewing one of our favorite artists. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfy, and let's see who's up next. everyone, this is Sally Bell with Rainy Day Gypsy, and welcome to Who's Up Next. And today we have Laura from Hyper Stamper. Is that how you say yeah. it? Hyper <laughs> yeah. Nice to have you, Laura. I'm so welcome. happy to be here. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to have you. Tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from? I am up north from you. I am in the uh, southern part of Ontario, Canada. Oh, okay. Uh, about an hour outside of Toronto. In Canada, oh. we say how far we are from someone in hours or minutes right? uh -huh. <laughs> rather than miles or kilometers. Yeah, well, I, I do too. Yeah. Oh, do you? Okay. Good. I can't remember miles. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> That's that crazy. So, yeah. so are you close to like New York? I'm about 10 hours from New York. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're kind of, yeah, okay. About you're half an hour to the border. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well. Hmm. Okay. Well, that welcome. I yeah. know. Is it chilly there this morning? It is gorgeous here this morning. Oddly Great. enough, it shouldn't be in October, but it's quite lovely. Yeah. yeah. But our leaves a... haven't turned yet. The the nature doesn't know it's fall. Oh, that's interesting because I ours know. does this morning. It's pretty chilly, and uh -huh. it is a beautiful day, but it's cold. The first day that it's been cold. Oh no, it's lovely. Frost. Here. It's odd. Yeah. That's Maybe great. What's happening? What? <laughs> Yeah, enjoy it while you can, for sure. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> well, um, you are a journaler, and I wanted to um, ask you where you <laughs> where you came up with that hyper stamper name. Did it start in the old stamping days? Yes. No. Oh, it yes. did. Okay, I thought maybe. <laughs> so, twenty one years ago, I joined a company called Stampin' Up, and oh, yes. uh, I'm still an active demonstrator with them. But I oh, wow. I got the name because I'm very hyper. You'll you'll find that out <laughs> yeah. in a minute. Um, so hyper stamper and it's oh, been cute. just the the tag I've used all these years. Great. So I started stamping. That's how I got into journaling is through stamping. And uh, I do stamp a little bit in my journals, but uh -huh. I didn't want to change the name because people just knew me. Right, right. Person. Yeah, yeah, ah. exactly. You don't want to do that in the middle of everything, I don't think. Yeah, but I am a hyper journaler. <laughs> You're a hyper journaler now. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> How long have you been journaling? Uh, probably about, I think I made my first journal. This is my very, very first. It's not even, well, I guess it's a journal, but it's a flip journal. A uh -huh. flip uh -huh. And I made this one probably about nine years ago. Oh, wow. And You've it's been doing this so far. It's really a complicated one. It's just got, it, it pops up, it jumps out, it lights up, it vacuums, it does everything. <laughs> like I need that. <laughs> Send those directions. I'm sending it to you, Rhett, and then to Sally. So I uh, got into that, but I've, I've been an antique collector since my teens, believe it oh, or not. Oh, yeah. So I've always had antique things around and antique paper. And I remember once I was teaching a stamping class, and I wanted to incorporate some antique dictionary pages into uh -huh. the card. Uh -huh. And from there, I made little booklets because people went crazy for them then I made little booklets and mm -hmm. and as I was on YouTube I saw somebody do a um, a junk journal but literally out of junk mail yeah it was like there was nothing vintage about it right. so I incorporated the two and came up with what I made and then found out that I was not unique at all there was a whole community of women making these vintage <laughs> junk journals <laughs> But yeah. mine are different than most. I would say 95% of junk journalers use digitals and they use, you know, wonderful Tim Holtz papers and all kinds of things. I right. don't use yes. anything like I, that. I, yeah. I, I realize that. And in watching your videos, yeah, I realize that. It's clear full of the real thing for sure. It, no it, digitals, and... no reproductions, everything no. in there. Yeah, I wanted it, you to go through that with our audience. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If we're... Where do you find all that stuff? It's, it, 
That's the biggest question I get. And uh -huh. for me, part of junk journaling, the fun part is going on the hunt. Right. It, honestly, I get into an antique store and I just, oh, <gasps> I just mentally. Like, just like looking for Easter eggs. It was yeah. so much fun. Right, so right. Everywhere That's great. from online auctions, to garage sales. Um, oh, yeah. Amazing finds at garage sales, especially ah. when I see that somebody who's retiring or they're mm -hmm. transitioning from their home to maybe a retirement living. They're right. the ones that have the good stuff. They've been the old, old books. So so, yeah. Yeah. Ah, so, interesting. I yeah, know. you it, it, explain to our audience what your style is and go into that a little bit more. I mean, you have everything from the little kids' book pages to old, old postcards. Tell us a little bit. Yeah, so much fun stuff. I have, if it's made of paper from 100 years ago, I have some form of it. Okay. So I brought out just a few little things here just so I could okay. explain it. So my favorite thing, I think, is antique postcards. Uh huh. Is not only are they beautiful and historical, right? The messages are really right. interesting on them. I know, I love it. Because the, the main thing that anti postcards say is, "How are you? I am well. Received your letter. See you soon." It's like that just said nothing. <laughs> or wish you were here. Wish you were here. Not you know, I bumped into a wall. At nothing. No news. Right. It's all. I think it was all about. The, the postcard, just receiving something. Oh, in a, yes, a, a yes. Deal. My Pony Express, right? You got it by <laughs> horse and buggy came and they put it right. in your, your mailbox. <laughs> and they had, um, so for example, we we would text or email each other to set this call up. If mm -hmm. they wanted to do it 100 years ago, they took a postcard. Um, I will be at your house two o'clock Saturday. Put it in the mail to the next town. They would receive it the next day and they would send another one back. So that wow. is how they communicated. And to me, that is absolutely fascinating. Isn't that so? And our kids so. nowadays cannot comprehend this, but no. I see it in the history. I see how they, this is how they received information. And that I is cool. And I it so much that uh, to me, it's fascinating. So I've been collecting that all these years. Yes. So I like doing my postcard journals. They sell really fast. Yeah. Because I try to make them so you can take the postcard off and read mm -hmm. the back. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then I write antique books. I remember getting a few kind of nasty emails when I first started people saying you shouldn't destroy perfectly oh, good books. Um, right. And I, and I would email them back saying, don't worry, I don't. These are books that have come to me. They, they are no longer readable. Right. They've been right. discarded. I found them in recycling bins. Right, um, right. So I, I feel like I'm saving them. Yes. Uh, and they've been read and loved. Yes. They mean it, so. Well, a lot of your yeah. covers, I think it was that gold one with the lady in the hat. Oh. You said you said how beautiful that cover was and it had been used. And oh, yeah, that was it, gorgeous. It's been loved. Yeah. And now it gets to yeah. have a forever home. Like these, yeah. The ones with the ladies, uh -huh. they're harder to find. But when I find them, I feel like I've found oh wow yeah you know, real gems there's right this one's really popular the, the beverly oh. yeah and um they're always really poorly worn you can tell they're not interesting so they're not valuable to the point where a collector would go right although, yeah although i right. have destroyed a few valuable books by accident oh, and serious realized, Oh my goodness. My well, my, uh, my son collects books and he's always saying, Mom, are you sure that one's not worth a lot of money? You know, and, and well, not really, but it's kind of ripped up. I know. Well, some of my books are worth, like you could Google a lot of these, like that was probably worth about $25 on, on Etsy, but right. I'm not going to sell a book for $25 on no, Etsy. No, no. Take the trouble to send it off. And right, so it's, right. It's, it's the right. whole package. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So some, sometimes I'll pay a dollar for a book and sometimes I'll pay $10 for a book. Right. Right. It, it all sort of evens out in the wash. Yeah. Uh, and now, then, yeah, the, the children's book covers um, sell very fast. People oh, love those. Uh, I think. So adorable. Yeah. Just, I love that. They're so innocent and sweet and colorful. Right. Yeah. Right. So everybody has a different taste. So I try to do a little yeah. bit of everything so they don't all look yeah. the same. Right. Yeah. And, and they're so, yeah. they're so interesting because She'll go to her YouTube and check out her, her videos. She'll, um, she'll go through, do a, do a quick flip, a hyper flip through. <laughs> she 
she'll do a hyper <laughs> yeah she'll do a hyper flip through for you and um she's uh, you're a lot of fun to listen to by the way oh, and and she'll do a hyper flip through and tell you where all these pages came from i don't know how you keep that up here but i don't but either, i can't oh. remember to put pants on in the morning but yet i i can open the book and go oh i know exactly where that came from isn't that crazy I know. yeah and the little kids pages i i love the little kids pages and i've got some of those books but i'm always afraid to use those and i wanted to tell you about the antique vintage postcards i have a ton of those wow. and i'm too chintzy to use them do you do I that don't. I did it first. Yeah, and because what am I going to do with them? Yeah. I know. That's, well, I, not too long ago, I had to help um, a dear friend clean out her parents' home because they had mm -hmm. passed on. And uh -huh. she kept saying, why did they keep all this stuff? Because it was such an overwhelming job for the kids to go through it. And I thought, right. I can't do that tomorrow. If I go, I, to go the I, house, I don't, they just have to set the house on fire because it's <laughs> too much stuff. So yeah. I enjoyed it. Time, time to pass it on to somebody else to love. That's, right. So if you have a lot of postcards, it's easier to. I get need to start them. using those. Just use them. It makes and you I so love happy them. when you hear I, that. I, from I, it does. I, I love them, and I love the look of them. But it's like I gotta quit. I gotta let loose of some of that stuff. Let it I mean, go. that's why I got it I to don't... use it in journals, and then yeah. I, oh god, I tear it out of my hand. You know, I like that Crazy. with my doilies. I'm oh, like, are oh, you? This is a beautiful antique doily, and oh, maybe I'll just keep it. For what? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's in a box. You, you can, remember when they used to put them on the backs of the chairs and on the arms of the chairs? Yeah. You can start that trend again. That. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, know. I have hundreds and hundreds of doilies. So everybody oh gets gosh. a doily in my journals. Everybody gets a postcard. Everybody yeah. gets a old photo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Bingo yeah, I, I need to start using some of that stuff up for yeah, sure. Do do doilies it. too. Yeah. Love them. Okay. Yeah. There's. It's. Um, I guess if you're a collector, like I consider myself to collect anything I love. So you know, exactly. then it's hard to use it. But you know, I have a hard time selling journals too. So there you go. It's not like I'm get, getting rid of it. It's just moved from this drawer to this shelf. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> If I if I sold one of my journals with one of my favorite postcards, I think I'd cry. I don't know. I've, I'd get over it. I've written it. to people and said, "I hope you love this postcard as much as I loved yeah, it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I figured they must. They they wanted enough to buy it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's that's great. Yeah. Cool. So how long have you been on um, YouTube? That's interesting. One year. I started. Well, just a little over. I started in July last year. Yeah. Um, it, that was from my three sons saying, would you just do a YouTube channel already? And I'm not yeah. technologically capable in many ways. But they helped me <laughs> set it up. And sure enough, in the first like two weeks, like I think I sold 30 journals. It was just ridiculous. Oh, and uh, that's great. I know. So I, wow. I one a day now. And I work full time. So it's oh. Yeah, so I, I noticed. Work off to, up the stairs. You're, to my you're very prolific. I mean, every time I open up your site, it's like she has another journal out. How does she do that? Yeah, yeah. one a day. That's my goal. One a day. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my day. goodness! Mm. I've got the whole system down to a fine art now. So yeah, it's sort of like you know when you watch those shows where they remake over a house uh -huh. and you really just want to get to the end for the reveal you don't care how the drywall was put up and all <laughs> right. that's right. me i cannot wait to get to the part where i get to right. decorate it and add right. all the things into the pockets that's it's so much fun oh sorry ah! Ah! sorry she's a bad cat so before we started laura was talking about her kitties lacy and pepsi <laughs> And one of them was on the chair, and she says, oh, I hope they don't get into a big <laughs> row. <laughs> they My heard you say that. It's not working. Oh, Sorry. that's cute. Oh, no, that's fun. People who follow me know that Lacey often goes into my videos because yeah. she wants, where is it? She sees me doing this in the videos, and she really wants to oh, play with Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. too late for me to get her out of their rooms so it's pretty funny yeah yeah i have a kitty that'll sometimes kind of walk through kind of like you know, I know. this this is my territory you know it's all about me yeah yeah exactly <laughs>
Oh my goodness. So, so you started your YouTube channel and yes. the, the first week you said the first day when, how you sold for the first two weeks, I sold about 30 journals because That's amazing. I wasn't, I've been on Etsy for two years, two uh -huh. years. Um, and it was going fine. Um, mm -hmm. but then, sorry if that's popping up there. Um, yep, it's okay. but then, uh, as soon as I got the YouTube channel, it just tripled. So that's when I thought, oh, people want to, see, because on Etsy, they give you a 15 second video. That's oh. all you have. You cannot oh, yeah. show a hundred page right, right. journal properly. So right. I think people like the history of all the, the Oh, pages. I do too. Yeah. And I try to keep it under nine minutes if I can, yeah. which is around seven minutes. So that's, yeah. it's watchable, right? I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably a good idea that, yeah. you know. So, because people don't have time to sit there and watch the whole thing or, that's right. and you know, and yours, you watch the whole thing because, and you don't have to scroll through or zap through or whatever you call it. Yeah. Like moving. Yeah. yeah. You're going to miss something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have the greatest stuff. Yeah. I'd like to get into your, your um, studio and play oh, around. Oh, wouldn't that be great if mm -hmm. I could just yeah, open my doors and say, come on in. Yeah. Be fun. Awesome. Just we'll just have a big retreat right there in your studio. Yes. Oh my god, that would be so fun. Use it's up funny. all your stuff. <laughs> Somebody once because I was Jamie asked me, my son, why don't you just uh -huh. do the video in your in your craft room? I went, Oh my it looks like a library threw up in here. There's no way. <laughs> I'm in the dining room, same thing. <laughs> yeah. I, just I was like, her, whoa. There's lace hanging on the walls. <laughs> But I need to I, see it all. Yeah. Right. Right. I just did a, an interview with a lady <clears throat> and her background was pretty, um, I don't want to say messy, but she had, it was studio-ish, you oh, know. Junk journal making is messy. But it it, is that's, so that's the fun of the studio. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, do you, do you clean up between every project? Not every project, but at least once a week, I have mm -hmm. to do a, I have to take an hour or two to be able to see the floor. Yeah, right. Do you throw? Yeah, I do too. I throw my stuff on the, <laughs> my husband thinks I'm nuts. It's like, honey, there is such a thing as a broom, you know, I no. can sweep that up. <laughs> Brooms are for suckers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So. I'll do a project and then I'll then I'll kind of clean up everything, put everything away and then start the next one and get out everything that I think might go in this one. Yeah. And so, you know, it doesn't stay clean very long because you've got your piles oh. everywhere. Yeah. But it's I like mean, there's a, a toddler, right? You know, I'm sorry. Whole, it's like having a toddler when you clean right. your whole house and it looks beautiful. And then you turn around and the toddler's already emptied all the all the cupboard, toys. Yeah. And that's what it's yeah. like in my skip room. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and there's a method to the madness too. It's like, you know, it looks messy, but no, no, this pile exactly has everything. this. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Drawers open. You know. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. So what are your plans for the future? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Retirement would be nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That would be nice. And then you could, you could whip out three a day if you're I retired. Could, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could do that. Um, <laughs> I want to build, I want to get more followers on YouTube mm -hmm. because I think right. that's going to bring in new folks. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I just want to, I want to keep journal making. I really would love to move to the East Coast. That's my dream. Dreams. Just, um, just a lovely community out there. Uh -huh. But uh, for now, I'm, I've got a really nice balance between work and being able to journal. The Something I have to learn to do in the future is separate um, get out of my house. Sometimes I'll go three days and I'll think, have I been outside? Because oh, I'm getting yeah. into journal making and it's midnight uh, and I'm going, I have to work right. tomorrow. I right. have to work. <laughs> like an addiction. I know. Yeah. I know it is. You can really get on a roll. And I've learned when I get on a roll, I better not interrupt myself because I might not get back to that point again. You know what I mean? You do that too. Yeah. I it's do. like, okay, don't, don't disturb me because I'm, I'm, got something in my mind I got to get Momentum. this done yes yeah I guess that's it yeah yeah <laughs> because it takes me a while takes me a while to get to that point don't <laughs> interrupt it when I get there you know 
Sometimes I'll wake, the cats will wake me up and oh. uh, I'll think, well, it's 5.30 and I can't get back to sleep. I'm just going to go <laughs> make, yeah. a, make a few pages in my in my journal. And yeah, it, it's a nice way to start the day. But yeah. then I'm off when I start my real job, it's like, I've already been working for yeah. three hours. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But it just uh, makes me so happy. It brings me so much joy. Right, I right. It. I know it, it's it's a fun, fun craft for sure. It is. And and like you say, it's not just the making of the journals. It's collecting and finding the stuff and marrying you know? them together. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like I'll I'll have a page that's a, a from the eighteen hundreds of women in in their dress of the time. Uh -huh. like, oh, I have I have some rolls of vintage lace that looks like what she's wearing and I'll put it with it. People might not even realize I'm doing it. It's more for me than anybody right, else. Right. Oh, that's but neat. It's, yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, that is really. Yeah. When it stops being that's fun, amazing. I'll stop doing it. Right. But I right. don't see that happening. I don't yeah. see that happening with me either. No. Yeah. It's just yeah. So yeah. I love it. It, it yeah. I guess, you know, when you think about it, none of the journals are the same. If you had to if you had to pump out five of your forest journals, for instance, that that for, to me would take the fun out of it. But your forest okay. journal, it was so unique and, and you could, um, you know, all the things you put in there. It's like if you you don't want an assembly line, everything okay. is so unique. And I think that's what keeps us going. I don't do. You? It's fun because I have folders. So I have a forest folder, fairies. Um, I mother. know. You have a video oh, about that. Yes, because people kept asking me, how do you organize it? It's not unique, but maybe it, maybe it's what people just need to do. Right. So when I'm ripping apart a book, mm -hmm. I go, okay, that's a moon. That goes in the moon folder. That goes in the oh, mom yeah. folder. And as the folder gets thicker, then I'll know, oh, I can make a mother journal because there's enough. Because oh, I make yeah. every page that theme. Yeah. It's yeah. nuts. I don't need to do that. I just do because I have a problem. <laughs> I need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I organize it. As soon as I have enough, but then I make it. Like I just put out that forest journal, but I won't have enough to make another one for right. months. For a right? while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you but need I get a lot of special requests. And then yeah. I'll, I'll make yeah. a special request journal. Yeah. You need to hit the streets and look for some forest ephemera. Yes. Where would I find that? Oh, road trip. I hear road trip in the future. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> old, you know, you used a lot of stuff from old books in there that were yes. neat. And, you know, those are harder and harder to find. Are there ma that many journalers out there to, uh, that are scooping those up or what? Because I think a lot of things are getting rare. <laughs> I'll go into the antique store and notice that all the books are male themed. And I think, oh, somebody's been here and got all the, the girly uh, ones. Right? Oh. But I have yeah. a book person that uh, is a book collector. Oh, do you? They have damaged books, they call me. And, yeah, uh, yeah. And I can scoop up the damage because they that's can't. A good idea. They're rare booksellers and they people right. drop them off to them. Right. Say, oh, that's this most usually it's when you open up the first page, the spine has been ripped away. Oh, and that's what okay. I like because I'm taking yeah. it up anyway. Right. So right. they can't right. they can't make any money off it. So they give it to me for a really good yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea. Like, yeah. You will do that. Idea. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Oh, you mean I have to go around and go to these neat little bookshops and ask them? Yeah, honestly. Darn. I know. <laughs> but then there's a heartbreaking part where people will bring me boxes of books. So I found these in my grandma's attic, but they're yeah. moldy or oh. they're, they're more musty than I can yeah. fix. It's really yeah. hard to get the smell of must. Is it? Of have, you, have you tried tea bags? I've tried, I think I've tried everything, baking soda, tea bags. Right now, there's a bunch in my freezer because somebody oh. told me. To... My son's <laughs> open it up and go, what is happening? Why? Now the journals are in the freezer. Is, is this our dinner? <laughs> Intervention. <Yeah. laughs> oh, okay. trick, but I'm going to go back to, what do you do with tea bags? Well, just dry tea bags. I've heard that you can um, put those in... Uh, like a bag with some book or you know anything that smells like that and just put it in there for i don't know a week close it up oh you know I'm, try I'm, try that let I'm, me know if it works but i haven't tried it for that but um oh, i like that yeah yeah try it and then there's that then there's the 
the soap that you can use. What is that? It's the Irish Spring soap. But I think that just gives it a smell, it, and then it that'll just dissipate. It up. Yeah. Right. And I don't think you want to do that. You want something to take it out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's heartbreaking mm. when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we're right, getting close to the end of our time here. Give me, tell our audience anything else you want to say. Let tell them, see. yeah, tell them how, how, um, how you got so many subs so fast. Uh, I guess just by being a hyper stamper, you know. I think I I guess I just have a different style. Mm -hmm. um, people, I think I hit a nostalgic part of people. Um, women in the fifties, sixties, and seventies and eighties. They they like I I remember a lot of these papers going through my parents and grandparents' things. Right, right. Th those things recipes, the recipes, and right? yeah. Yeah, the, the, the pictures yes. of the, yeah. Yes. That was and pretty I, So I think I hit a chord with, with those women. And uh -huh. I think just being um, chatty, I, I, I'm i a bit, yeah, often <laughs> but I'm, I'm just a happy person. Yeah, you, yeah <laughs> you're. comes across, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, your videos are very upbeat, which I think is. That's the word. Yeah, uh, how how often do you post a, a journal? I mean, it seems like every, Almost day. every day. Yeah. Almost every okay, day. that's probably the key too. I that wonder, could be. Sometimes yeah. I think it's too much, but if I make a journal every day, that means I'd have to post two or three in a day if I don't. Right. Do it that's that's day, true. That's too many. Oh, I'd love to be able to get that one done every day. But you know, they say the more you post, the more you get yourself out there. I'll bet you that has a lot to do with it too. I hope so. I yeah. hope so. I'd, I'd love to, I mean, wouldn't it be fun if I got to 2,000 subscribers? Yeah, and and that tree and, yeah it wouldn't have yeah, fun. Yeah, I don't yeah, know at great. what point it takes off, but I'm right. patient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, it's fun. We're we're all at the same place, ready to yes. ready to roll any minute now, you know. I know. It's so we're so lucky as women. We're naturally creative people. It's why we put on makeup and do our hair and wear nice clothes. We are naturally creative. We garden. Right. We just love beauty, and this is just my way of having beauty in my life. Exactly. You know? yeah. That's 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 a cool way to put it. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you very much for being here, no, Laura. Thank you. This so was fun. a fun interview. Yeah, a really fun interview. <laughs> and I really encourage our audience, go to her YouTube, because she's got some good stuff. And then, she, yeah. yeah, Hyper Stamper. Um, we're going to list all your, you're going to send me an email. Oh, great. Okay. Super. And give me all your um, media links, and then we'll put them down below. So Happy to. Oh, well, thank you so okay. much for letting me come and be goofy. <laughs> no, you're certainly welcome. I love goofy. <laughs> okay, Laura, you have a wonderful day. You too, and, uh, Thanks so much. Go make that journal today. Or have you already? You're, you're, you're taking up my journaling time, so yeah. I'm not here. Knowing you, you've had it done since about 4.30 a.m. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, thanks a lot, and thank you, audience, for tuning in. Goodbye, Laura. Bye.